Hey, what's going on guys? It's Raf. Here's another video for you guys showing the new AI uh, system in the game. Just keep in mind this is an early build in our public staging branch testing which just went live last night. So all of this stuff will be polished and a lot of it still has bugs and might break. So just keep that in mind uh, while um, trying to use this stuff. So uh, the first thing you want to do is spawn your units. So here I've got three units spawned. What you'll need to do to use those units is um, click them on the UI right here. You can drag and click to scroll up and down to a list of your units. So we'll just click 222 two, two, and you'll see you have a list of options here. We have uh, move the camera to the unit, drive it. Um, you can do this for all the units. You can also drive the unit by going into the RTS camera and left clicking the unit from up here and that will uh, put you in the driver's seat without needing to spawn a character so what we're gonna do here is use the move to command which will allow you to place the rig in a specific place now you see this transparent version of the rig you can use the scroll wheel to rotate it uh, like you see here and you can basically put exactly where you want the unit to park and at what angle and whatnot so we'll put it right here by this hydrant when you right click it will place that transparent version down and you'll hear the unit accepting the call over the radio so let's do that so your unit will respond with lights and sirens you can use these commands to speed up or slow down so here I'll slow him down and you can see that he'll start driving pretty slow and if we hit speed up you'll uh, step it up a notch. So once they reach, they'll break their siren and put the parking brake on. And from here, there's a couple of cool actions you can do. So you'll see uh, we can do uh, turn on the lights and turn them off from this menu. This is a cool option, the spray deck gun option. You click spray deck gun and you right click where you want the deck gun to aim and it will start spraying. And this is, uh, you'll have to mess with the where you're clicking for the deck gun to aim because it just changes the aiming uh, depending on the distance and height of what you're spraying at so you'll just have to uh, mess with it until you get it to uh, accurately spray at what you want to spray now you've got this rapid deploy option <coughs> which will s uh, stretch the supply line automatically it'll then connect it to the hydrant automatically and stretch three links behind the engine then uh, connect that line to the engine and all you have to do is spawn a character and pick up the nozzle and uh, charge the line so this will set up a whole engine for you all you have to do is press one button as you can see supply line connects to the hydrant we've got a line connected to the truck all in a matter of a few seconds with one click of a button now all we have to do is spawn our character which takes a second because this is my first time spawning this game there we go and we'll pick up the line and we use the radio menu you can call for water and now we've got water and it's as simple as that that's all you have to do so this is great for beginners or people who are kind of lazy and or if you're just playing single player and you really don't want to like have to set all this stuff up you want to be quick these AI commands are great for that kind of stuff so our whole goal with the AI stuff is to make it uh, make the game a lot more easy to play especially by yourself so now we can hit the pack up button which is reverse deploy pretty much it just picks up all your um, your lines for you so now we'll uh, go ahead and I'll add an option to turn the deck gun off uh, in the AI menu but for now we'll just have to hop on and turn it off ourselves but yeah just keep in mind all this stuff is 
early. This is like the first testing branch public with this, these features, and they will be uh, fixed and improved upon. So it is functional, but don't be surprised if for some reason uh, some things don't work or you have some issues. Um, like I said, they will be improved on. So we can select our unit and hit to firehouse. I'm working on the hitboxes. You have to click like right in the middle of the button for it to work. Uh, and our unit will turn off its lights and he'll start taking up. If you don't want to wait for him to go back, you can left click the rig and it will instantly teleport it back to the station like so. Another cool thing is that you can uh, while you're in the rig let's say you're going you're at a fire and you have a bunch of hoses out and all your tools are all over the place and your doors are open if you just want a fresh start and you want to go back to the firehouse all you have to do is hit shift R and it will return you back to the station uh, with one click of a button so that's another thing to make single player a little bit less uh, you know troublesome you can get all your tools back and pack up everything with one one button click so now let's go over to 123 here's another cool feature if you hit this wait for player while uh, um, button before you start moving your truck basically when you place that uh, that option let's say we want to put him right here when you place that unit there it will wait until y uh, you spawn a character and get in the truck so we'll spawn as the officer or we could spawn as any other unit or any other member other than the driver and as soon as we hop in the truck then it will accept the run and uh, we'll start responding so 123 will accept the run and the AI is driving, I'm not touching the driving at all. So, a cool thing is you can control the, the air horn and sirens as the officer. So, this is cool if you just want to ride along or you want to ride in the. In the dr so you can also cancel and stop your truck if you need to, like if you don't want it to keep responding you can cancel whatever it's doing and it'll stop where it's at. Um, so a cool feature is that you can use the AI commands to put the, the ladders up to windows or rooftops with just by clicking where you want it to go. So what you'll do is you'll have your unit, make sure your ladder truck is the active selection which is above the buttons. You'll click uh, move ladder to and you'll right click on the window or the rooftop just make sure it's on the edge um, and right now there's a little bit of a delay from when you click to when it starts putting the outriggers down and the aerial up but that will be patched um, in this update so we'll just wait for the outriggers to go out and it should be there we go so you can do all of this um, in this view or you can have a character spawn and, and still use these AI commands so you can be on the ground looking up at a window somebody's trapped or you need to, to give somebody egress you can just click this command and, and click the window you want it to go to so you're right clicking um, to, to mark where you want to go so our area will line up with the red marker and once it's lined up it will start extending and once it reaches the mark it will stop extending so another cool thing is if I, uh, the scene light, if I turn it to nighttime here, and I turn on the scene light with the AI command, it will be aimed wherever my ladder is aimed. So that is automated as well. So that saves you all the time from having to get on the turntable and set up the ladder and turn on the scene light and aim it. You can also press the return area ladder and it will bring the outriggers up, it'll bring the ladder back down to its starting position and you can pack up just like that that easy and now we can just hit 10-8 uh, or return to the firehouse and our unit will go 10-8 and it's as simple as that uh, this works with the tower ladder as well like I said you will probably run into issues um, this is still a work in progress system but like in this video you saw it worked pretty well and um, yeah that's pretty much it guys. 
thank you for watching and uh I hope you guys enjoy that. Welcome to uh, Company 111. 111.